everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing kind of like, or I'm going to be starting kind of like a series. Um, I have a few bags that I have had lots of requests to do updates on the wear and tear and just keep forgetting to do it. So I'm going to do those kind of like in a series of a few that I have to do. Um, I need to do my Tureen PM <laughs> every time. My Palm Springs backpack in the PM. I think people were asking about my Iana and my mom, no, not my mom monogram. I think I already did that one. I know there's another one. I'll just have to remember what it was, but I'm going to be doing all of those. But today I'm going to start with the most popular bag that I have. And I say it's most popular because every single time I post it, I get a ton of DMs on it. People ask me if I can help them find one. Um, they'll ask my opinion on ones that they've found and then they want to know a lot of questions about the wear on mine, how mine fits, and stuff like that. So it's my Tureen PM. So, okay, I absolutely love, love, love this bag. And I have said it several times that when I wear it, I don't want to change out of it. And a lot of that is because of the ease of the whole bag. So it comes with this really long crossbody strap. And when I say long, I mean it has one, two, three, four, five different adjustments. And I wear it on the short one. Let me just show you. This is how far it hangs down on me. Like there's my hip right there. And the bag is still like a good inch below my hip. So when I wear it crossbody, it actually fits perfect, like it's right on my hip. But if it didn't, if it didn't have like that last short strap, it would be way too long for me. It's already pretty long when it's on my shoulder, but I don't know. I still don't mind. Now, <clears throat> the interesting thing is I had to measure this for my husband's cousin because she has the MM and like I tried hers on when I was at her house in Dallas and for one the MM is not as big as I thought it was. It looks really big but holding it it's not so bad. So um but I found that her strap is actually shorter than mine and she needs a longer strap. So yeah she's trying to find one of these. So if you have one that you want to sell from your PM let me know. All right sorry Cam came in. Okay so I moved it to the um, the longest setting and I'm gonna go from the piece of leather the beginning of the piece of leather all the way to the end to the end of the piece of leather so I'm not going all the way to the um, clasp and it's exactly 43 inches if I go to the shortest one which is where I wear it it is They're about 39 and a half inches. So as you can see, it's still a really long strap, but it gets super long. So if you're wanting a bag to have a really long crossbody strap, the Terrain PM is by far like a good choice for that one. Um, the width of this strap is really thin. So it is, Wow, I didn't realize it was that thin. So it's a really thin strap. I know a lot of people don't like thin straps, but me personally, um, on this one, I actually really like it. I think it kind of depends on the bag, how heavy it is and just how I'm wearing it. But this one in particular, I really like the strap. Um, the only thing that is worrisome is it has the stitching down the middle like my Aina does. Therefore, it kind of makes me nervous that these sides are eventually going to split the same way that those did. But, I mean, I, I haven't heard that being an issue, so maybe, maybe it won't be. But, anyway, um, I also love it because it's got the, t you know, the top handle. And I said this, like, on my actual review of this. This is, like, a bigger or a longer drop than the Speedy, but not by much. But enough to where people say that... You know, if you have a bigger arm that it fits on the crook of the arm better. Um, yeah, I love it. 
Um, as far as the wear though, I haven't had that much wear. Um, I know people originally were saying they're afraid that the pleats would come out. They don't. They really can't because it's folded and then the way like it's sewn up here. So it's it's not gonna come out. That's just not a thing. It's not like the Tavoli where it can actually come out because it's not, it's just, it's sewn different. So it's just not a thing. Um, the handles are not as dark as the top of my strap. So let me see if I can show you up close of this. So as you can see, the um, crossbody strap does have a slightly darker patina. I think that's mainly because, you know, you're constantly, you know, grabbing it like this. I, well, I am, I'm constantly grabbing it and putting it on my shoulder a lot. Um, whenever I take to the gym and I leave, I actually don't grab the top handles because I don't want to get my sweaty hands all over them. <laughs> but I guess I don't mind putting it on my crossbody strap because I will grab it and put it up here. So the very top of that is a lot darker. Um, the little, what are these called? The chaps on the inside of the bag. So you've got the outside and then you've got the inside. These are darker than the outside and I think it's because it rubs against my body. But yeah, I don't, I don't really care. It doesn't bother me at all. And then these have more patina than like this or anything. And I'm not really sure why they do, but yeah. Um, I don't have any curling, like at all. Like these don't curl. Whenever I am not wearing the bag, I take off the strap, I roll it up, I put it inside, and then I store it with the handles down and I make sure that these are down. Like I make sure when I put it in the bag, they're not actually rolled up and they're down. Cause if you do like watch how quickly it kind of does a little pop away. So it could really quickly start to, um, start to flip up, but mine has it. Um, I did check like the leather all the way around and knock on wood. I have zero issues with any of it. It is made so well. And I, I love, I love how the roll top handles have like a, like it curves in, see curving in so that it fits around the bag. And that's something that I've never, I never really thought about. And one day I was just looking at it and I was like, that's a really good design. So there is absolutely no way that it's going to rub against the zipper with it being open or closed. As you can see, it's completely together. And the only way you would know is if you squeeze it together. So there's no way that they're going to get messed up by the zipper. Um, my front piece has, I think, a really good patina. It's not like super dark, but it's getting there. I can't wait for this to be really, really dark because I think it looks amazing dark. Now, the one thing that did, like, didn't cross my mind until someone said it recently was about like how bad these parts wear. And I mean, I knew that they could wear because um, the Clapton that I had, it had really hard, like sharp corners and that one ruined really fast. But then my Iana has the same corners, but they're really soft. And this one is kind of in between. So it's not super hard like the Clapton, but it's not as soft as the Iana. So it can have wear. And a few people were telling me that theirs like wore really bad. And my husband's cousin, she bought hers pre-loved and it has like some cracking on it, which when I looked in person, I didn't really see it, so it's not that bad, but it still happens. So it, it's had me really looking at mine, and let's see, um, this one's perfect, this one is perfect now. I wear it across this side. So looking at the other side, th this side is perfect, so that's the front, but now this one right here, I won't be able to show you because I can't get in close enough, but <clears throat> on the flower, there is like a little bit of wearing off and it's not bad right now and I don't know that it's going to get worse, but I really, really, really hope that it doesn't because I'm so afraid that it's going to expose underneath it, but you know, it's so small right now that if I hadn't like been told all that, I wouldn't even have looked and I wouldn't have been able to tell. So. I'm not bothering with it because it's really not that bad and it could be just from rubbing against my jeans. Well, that's not fair because I haven't worn jeans very much. I wear leggings all the time. So yeah, that's not really a thing. 
So I don't know what it would be rubbing against, but it is the part that would be rubbing against my body the most. I don't know. That's all I can think. But that's it. Um, the interior of mine, like this is another reason I love this so much is the interior. Like you've got two uh, flat pockets over here. So I've got, you know, a lip gloss, perfume, and lotion. On the other side, I've just got gum and my grocery list. The only problem, or the only, only annoying thing is the big pocket on the other side. So I keep my pen in there and then I keep my little earbud thing. And the only annoying thing is, is it just gapes open and it gets in the way. So sometimes I wish that that was a tighter pocket, but I mean, it's still not that bad and it doesn't really bother me that much, but it just, it keeps the organization and I love it. I love all the pockets and I think that's one of the reasons I love this bag so much. I love it because it's got the crossbody strap so I can put it on my shoulder, throw a crossbody, but then I love the fact that I can just grab it. Like I love to just be able to take it off my shoulder. You know, you're walking to the car and you just grab the handles and just throw it in the car. It's so much harder if you have a bag that just has a long strap and you have to take it off. I know that's such a dumb thing to think, but when you <laughs> have the option to either carry a bag like that or you have the option to carry one that has, you know, these extra things, it, it makes a difference and it makes it more user friendly and I just happen to really like that. And, but yeah, um, for those asking, this one is made in France. I don't see a difference of bags made anywhere. I mean, the, both both of the Claptons that I had were made in France and they both screwed up really, really quick. One was in a month, one was in a week. So, and then the Delightful that I had, the first one that messed up that they had to replace it, I think that that was made in the United States. So it's kind of like, it doesn't really matter where they're made. They seem to have issues, everyone seems to have issues with bags made anywhere. So I never really care where they're from. It just so happens that this one was made in France. Um, this one also has a D-ring inside, and this is the only bag that I have ever had that has a D-ring that I don't put anything on. I've always hooked my clay inside there, and I've put change in it, but I, I don't now, and I don't know why I stopped, but I think it's because my Victorine wallet has a zipper pop, or has a change holder, and then I also carry this now. So this was something that I never carried before, I just bought it because... I'm obsessed with the transatlantic line, but um, I usually put my rings in this when I go to the gym. I know that's really stupid, but I don't care. And if I needed to put change in there, I have this too. So I don't want to carry around my clay at this moment and just have something more. But yeah, so that's what it looks like inside there. You can get a closer look. I love the color. It's like a... It's like a raisin color and I see purple in it. Um, my mom doesn't at all. It's the same color as the Ayano. And when I was looking at that in Austin, that's when my husband was like, this bag is so you, it's even got the purple interior. So he said that before I ever said that. So he saw the purple undertone. My mom looks at it, she just sees brown. I don't know, I guess it's like that blue dress. So, but I love it. Also, um, the little zipper thing. Some people love it, some people hate it. A lot of people wish that it was bigger. Me, I think it's adorable. I love that it's so small and dainty and yeah. Um, I guess it could eventually split and because it's just one piece of leather put together. But I haven't had any problems with mine and the zipper on it is still absolutely perfect. I don't know, this is definitely one of my favorite bags ever. I love it and I can't wait until it gets darker. And like I said, whenever I use it, I just don't want to, I don't want to stop. Um, yesterday, me and the girls went shopping and we went to the gym. We went to a camp soccer game. We went to the gym. We went to a birthday party and we went um, uh, sh shopping. I don't know if I already said that part, but anyway, we did a lot of stuff and it rained and I used this and I only have one rain spot right there. And these are not the treated handles. These are not. So the first Iana that I got, it was one of their like tester leathers where they started putting something on them because they felt plastic and rain would hit it and it didn't soak in. So it wasn't the raw leather, which now that I've had the straps replaced, they're the raw leather. I don't know, it's really weird, but these were definitely the raw one. I can tell just by feeling them. I could, I could, it's something you can totally tell. You can tell the difference of when they were doing that to 
ones that they don't do it to. And this one's a raw one, so I don't know. It's pretty interesting that it didn't have the water spots, but maybe it's because I got in the car and I just kind of wiped it off with my shirt. I don't know, but I love it. I definitely recommend it. I found quite a few pre-loved for really good prices. I actually helped one of my friends here on YouTube and she's on Instagram. I'll leave her stuff down below, but I helped her find um, a to or a Tivoli. I don't know if I was going to say that. Helped her find this bag pre-loved from Fashion File for a pretty good price. And she, the one that she got did not have, it was not rolling up. The um, patina is not dark. It, hers looks amazing too and she actually doesn't like the strap on hers so she uses a different strap um, I'll just leave her video and you can go watch the one where she talks about hers but um, yeah and she loves hers too uh, my husband's cousin has the MM and it's her favorite bag so if you're considering one I would definitely get it it is discontinued so you can't buy it new except I don't know if it's still on there, but recently I was on the Louis Vuitton site because they were supposed to have a price increase. The only thing that I saw actually go up was the keep on and only went up, it did, they were supposed to go up 120, but it didn't even go up 120 because they, I think they were 1800, even another 1890. So they didn't fully go up. But anyway, <clears throat> while I was on the site, they had the MM again and it was placed in cart. So for it being discontinued, I don't know how they had one. So if you want a brand new one, like you don't want to go pre-left and you want a brand new one, they have the MM and they had it again yesterday when I was looking. So I don't know, but it is discontinued and it was replaced by the Rivoli and it's pretty close to the same, but not, I think this one is way better. The Rivoli, they moved this down and they put a lock that does nothing on it. I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of the look of that bag. I think the handles are different too. But yeah, go give it a look if you're not, you know, if you want to look at it. But um, for those that don't want to buy pre-loved. But I'll link some if I can find some good ones. Like I'll link some down below that are pre-loved. But yeah, I would definitely give it a look. It's um, it's pretty close to the size of, I would say, probably the Speedy 25. But it's way better because when you wear it against your body... Because it's slimmer, it just forms to your body better. It's not bulky, and I know that that's one of the reasons people don't love the Speedy B. Um, it's not bulky. It has one zipper, and so you can see everything in here. And then on top of it, it's got all the pockets. So, you know I love my Speedies. I love the Speedy, but I have to say, <laughs> this is actually better design. I know. It doesn't have the slouch or anything. This bag does not slouch. So for those that don't like the slouch either... There you go. You don't have to, it doesn't slouch. You don't have to put an organizer in it. There's lots of things that people do to the Speedy because they change it. They love the look of the Speedy, but they don't love the way it sags. They don't like that it has no pockets, all that stuff. This one has everything that you're looking for if you don't like that stuff about Speedy. But that is it. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll see you next time. Really? I will see you next time. You told me you believe in something and you say you're done Pretending that fate is patient Go run away, get it out of your system Come back when you're older